150,000, the number of pounds of potato chips produced by Topeka's Frito-Lay factory each day. As the fourth largest plant in the country, Topeka's Frito-Lay factory serves thousands of customers in the region, but many of them don't know exactly what goes into making a bag of chips. First, fresh potatoes are peeled, rinsed, and sliced according to type of chip being produced. The potatoes are sliced six hundredths of an inch thick to make regular potato chips, and an average potato produces about 36 chips. The slices are then washed and air dried before being sent to the fryer. Potato chips are typically fried in canola oil that is boiling at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes approximately three minutes for the slices of potato to be fried into chips. As the chips leave the fryer, they are passed along a conveyor belt where excess oil drips off the chips. Next, the chips pass through a shower of salt before they are sent to the sh sorter. While being shuffled through the sorter, an electronic camera taking thousands of shots per second identifies which chips have brown spots or defects. The camera then triggers a small air pipe above the conveyor belt, which blows off the chip into a separate path to be discarded. The potato chips are then sorted onto a separate conveyor belt and sent through a machine to be seasoned. The chips are sprayed with powdered seasoning that mimics flavors such as cheddar, barbecue, or sour cream and onion. The next machine separates the chips into portions to be packaged. The bags come on a roll and are sent through a machine to be put together. The chips drop into the bags and are, and are heat sealed to maintain freshness. The process to go from raw potatoes to a bag of potato chips takes approximately 15 minutes. Warren Roberts has been working at Topeka's Frito-Lay factory for 12 years. He currently serves as a packaging lead and describes some of the work he performs on a daily basis. My current role now is uh, basically assisting the packers and PMOs out on the floor, also uh, working with scheduling, and also my resource, update my resource on how the factory floor is running at all times. Any issues, uh, working with maintenance to uh, solve issues, work on uh, hitting numbers, working with scheduling on target cases as far as schedule attainment, um, what we need to provide to the customers, each product that we run, uh, changeovers on done on time. Ryan McGivern, operations resource at Topeka's Frito-Lay factory, has been at the plant for six years and says that despite the economic crisis, Frito-Lay has not been majorly affected in the last year. Uh, we did see a little bit of a downturn as far as our production with the economy, but one upside is a lot of people are staying home for dinner instead of going out and maybe eating a little bit more sandwiches for lunch. So when you eat your sandwich, you always have a bag of chips. So luckily, um, the salty snack industry here at Friolet did not suffer too bad with the economy. We were fortunate enough to keep all of our employees employed. There was no layoffs or, or anything like that. So. Kind of when everybody kind of tightened their belts and ate at home, you know, they, they were open to, able to open up a bag of chips. So that's why if we're going to charge the price we charge, we need to ensure that we have the best quality. And I think we do. Overall, McGivern believes that staying true to company values is what sets Frito-Lay apart from the rest of the industry. The quality of product we make, um, I think is second to none. It's an in, we're an industry leader with, the, with, our, with our quality. Um, our pricing is very competitive, but I think where we stand out amongst our, amongst our competition is the quality of product we provide to our customers. There you have it, a look inside Topeka's Frito-Lay factory.